So this is the Fido OS which can be considered as the Chrome OS for everyone because unlike Chrome OS Flex we get the Google Play Store and Android support. We can install it easily on most of the system so stick to the end of the video to know how to properly do that because we need to do some additional steps as well to activate the Android and Google Play Store. So you can use the apps like Instagram and other social media and this is you know it opens up in the portrait mode um, so it gives you that familiar vibe as using on a smartphone and we can play games like this with the required single mouse click and it works quite well i have not tested it like with the controller so like more heavy games maybe you can play with the game controller but i have not tested it uh, but for now it works well and uh, it's a quite a good experience playing it on a pc So by default is uh, the Chromium browser and uh, we have the extensions and all the support so there is no issue there the, only the icon is different and uh, I've also installed Chrome beta from the Play Store so it works uh, it opens up like a normal Android Chrome browser so we do not see any extension support um, but if you want to add another Google account you can do that uh, using uh, the Chrome beta and uh, also you can see the app launcher this was not by default but i've enabled it from the chrome flags and we see the dark mode option and this new launcher uh, which is now in the chrome OS flex but in the five doors you need to enable it from the flags for now and i also tested it with the survey surfers which also requires just a single mouse click it works quite well even though I'm recording the screen and, and I have a low-end PC so I think performance should not be an issue with Fido OS and if you have a touch screen you can definitely enjoy a whole lot like a gaming catalog and, but for now this is good and uh, you know Call of Duty I have not installed it but there is a try now option um, just to see how the performance is and of course this is just a single mouse so the, the experience is not going to be the best uh, but it's like working quite smoothly with uh, no lags or something and you can easily aim and shoot uh, the games the full game should work mm, like better with a gaming controller so it's just good to see that Fido OS has not restricted the any kind of CPU usage or GPU usage um, so that's good So now let's see how we need to install the Fido OS. So right now I'm Chrome OS Flex and the first thing we need to go is to this website. Find the suitable ISO image for your processor. So for AMD is the last one and it might not support processors lower than 3rd gen. So remember that and many have had issues with the Fido OS being paired. But here you can see in the table graph it shows that it has a free version. Um, but for updates you need to pay so you can use it as long as you do not want the over the air updates so make sure you download the right uh, image for your processor and we have multiple mirrors so first let's try the one drive i think it should be the fastest and the download has started so while it's downloading let us proceed with the uh, the tool that we will need to create the bootable image so go to the extensions and then more manage extensions now we need to go to the web store and here we will download the chromebook recovery utility to so search and type the chromebook recovery and now we need to like add this to our browser and after you added this just click on the extensions and open the the utility tool and uh, first of now we will just click on the gear icon on top right and select the erase uh, recovery media now put in your pen drive 8 gb or 16 gb and just erase it so we do not see any issues uh, later in the video while um, creating the drive and after we are done we will wait for it to finish and actually the onedrive one was really slow so i switched to the fido os mirror so if you are uh, having issues, do try to change the mirror 
the speed does uh, increase so now the uh, image has been downloaded so we'll go to the folder and the extension is quite different it has dot uh, xz in the uh, last so we're going to double click it and it's going to start mounting it so it will take some time and now you can see it has mounted it and now it has dot img so we're going to right click and copy it because right now it's not in the download folder so it is its own partition and we will paste it in the downloads folder and it's going to take some time because it is a large image and after it's done you can see both of them are similarly named um, just the extension is different so the thing we will do is rename it so it's easier for us to recognize it so right click and rename so I'm going to make it a uh, shorter so it's easier you can change the name to anything I'm going to keep it just 5 OS and one thing we need to do is add .bin at the end so after .img add .bin it is a must uh, it is a must step and now we need to go to our tool the chromebook recovery and we'll select on the top side uh, use local storage and now we will select the image make sure you choose the right file and select our pen drive now we will start the process and, and also only leave while after you see the one percent is completed because after that you can be sure that uh, uh, it's going to be fine and it's not going to take a lot like a long time because we have done the proper steps and once it's done we need to power off our uh, pc or system and then we'll use the boot key so press the boot key and power button and then you will boot into the uh, like the boot menu of your computer and from there we need to select our pen drive so in my uh, in my case it's the second one and just select the first image image a and after a while you will see the 5OS logo and uh, select your language and keyboard layout make sure to do it properly because then it um, interferes with your password and everything and you can see we have some new animations so we will select the install FIDOS option and we need to select the full disk installation we also have the multi boot options but we are not going to do that yet and select your entire like hard drive or ssd if you have multiple you will show options of multiple drives select next and now it has started installing it's going to format the entire drive so make sure you have backed up before proceeding and you can see the process here and now after it's done it will give option to shut down so it's not going to give option to reboot but rather than uh, shut down and after we have shut down remove the pen drive the installation media and then start the uh, system again and this is the menu you will see just to select the image a it's going to automatically after five seconds uh, boot into the fire os and soon you will see the logo and now we will have to do the uh, setup again so choose your language but this time we also need to choose our wi-fi so connect to the internet We need to agree to some kind of user license and here is asking us to create a FIDOS account uh, but we do not need to need uh, do that many don't like to do that uh, so on the bottom left you can see options to use local account so make sure you select that first and it's going to ask us if you want to create a local account so just continue with that and uh, like Linux, we need to choose our username and password. And then select next. 
and it says you're all set but uh, make sure you untick this join fired os so it's not collecting any data and then get started and now we are in the fired os you can see this beautiful wallpaper and it's asking us to activate the android system because it's not activated by default um, so let's go into the screen recorder and explore further So right now in we are in the FIDOS, but we need to activate the Android system. So you will see this Android app in the app launcher. So we need to agree to some terms and then try to install the uh, Android. It's going to take some time. And after a while, it, this page will automatically show up. And you can see it is the similar Android uh, settings that we see on our phone. And it's running on Android 9 Pi. So not the latest, but it should not bother us. And now we have to go to the store option. You can see here. And we see the installer option, which we had to use previously to install it. Um, so now let's go to the open G apps, which you see on the bottom side. So open this and add to Fido S. If you're familiar with custom ROMs, you know what uh, OpenG apps is. So after adding it and installing it, you will see on the bottom side that it has downloading the application. And now we have uh, we see the option to open it, and we need to agree to the conditions. And then next, uh, it's asking us to configure the OpenG apps. So we will choose install and we have options to uh, install our own custom open gfs but we will go with the default and then install it and you can see the logs but we do not need that so let us uh, let it do the downloading and installing it's going to take some time and after it's done, it's giving us option to reboot our system. And after we have done that, you can see we see the Play Store option in the app launcher and in the uh, self as well. So you can start, uh, you can add your Google account and start using the FIDOS with Google Play Store and Android support. So that was it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.